I have to give credit where credit is due. This clip is thanks to a guy called Josh. No, not that one. His name on Twitter is Bo Blacks. Bo Blacks. And he apparently watches something that nobody else in the world does uh, called She Ruined My Life or something. And it's a podcast between Anisa Joma and Ian Joma, who literally changed his name to his wife's name. I, for whatever, I think because he didn't like his dad. But now he's he shares a name with a prostitute, uh, which is cool. Uh, they had a little conversation on their podcast that Bo Blacks clipped out. And uh, it actually beat the Kiwi Farms. I guess nobody on the Kiwi Farms watches this podcast to clip this out on. So uh, we will watch it on his channel and give him credit where credit is due. This is uh, iDub's dating advice segment. Ooh. Huh? Yeah. Okay. I'm giving the... I love her reaction to that. I'm going to give uh, uh, dating advice to young men. She's like, R really? Are you sure? Like immediately, just like, really? People, what they want. They've been asking for it for weeks. Really? Yeah. <laughs> dating advice. Yes. Where? Everyone's been asking. She's like, look at the camera like, the, the, like, a, like a skit. Like people are asking you for advice? Are you fucking... Are, is this like a joke? Is that what... Am I on camera? I guess I am on camera, but we're filming a podcast. Is there a second camera that's filming my reaction to this? For dating advice on the, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're like, oh, you bagged a cool one. Tell me how. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't believe uh -huh. that. I don't like it anymore. <laughs> she, bagging yeah. advice. Dude, yeah. Dude, she knows. She knows that is complete bullshit. Nobody, nobody's wondering, how do I get my own Anisa Joma? Not a single fucking person on the planet. Even iDubs is not wondering that. Uh, okay, so I'm going to give you guys some bagging advice. Huh? Uh, <laughs> I heard this uh, piece of advice. First, it started as like a uh, advice on like how to like uh, how to decide on what home you should buy to get like a lot of value in a home. Mm -hmm. And this one guy was describing it on TikTok is like, I fucking I love trains, so I would buy a house near some train tracks, and for me that would be awesome and wouldn't bother me and my lifestyle at all. Meanwhile, everyone else on the market in the scene. They would be like, oh, I'm not going to buy this house because I'm afraid that will the train will wake me up or it will be disturbing or something about it. Apply that logic to the dating world. Uh, when you're looking for a potential partner, you can – I'm not saying you should you know, apply this universally, but you can say, oh, like for me, I'm like, I don't mind any hair length on you. You could be bald. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is the shit-eating grin of a woman who has just recorded a permanent grudge memory. This is a memory that she will store in her brain for the remainder of her life. And at various points in time, until uh, Ian is dead, she will recall this memory. And she will bring it up to him and say, Do you remember that time that you said my hair was ugly on your podcast? That is what's happening. It's like when you listen to like a, a hard drive and it's making that ch -ch 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 sound because it's like recording something. That is literally what you're looking at right there. Um, so there's there's two things we have to we have to unpack this. We have to unpack this. First thing, he is referencing her OnlyFans. Do not do not do not get it twisted. Do not get do not get it twisted. Chat. That is what he's referring to. Literally, that's what he's referring to. However, he can't say that. He knows in his head he cannot say. You're a busted OnlyFans whore, and I'm one of the only people on this planet that would tolerate your busted ass. And she knows that. You can see that in her face. She knows that. So he has to come up with a metaphor, some other thing about her, perhaps, that other people might find unattractive that he doesn't care about. So he decides to go with her hair. If you don't know, Anisa used to have normal hair. She then shaved herself bald. There are pictures of her, like, in black leather and, um, oh my God, I thought the spam bot was back, but it's the get it twisted copy pasta. <laughs> um, they're picking her in like black leather with bald hair. Can I find this? I want to torture you guys. I want to, I want to really make this chat suffer. And he's a bald. Oh, fuck. Yeah. First result. Well, there we go. Okay. So she shaved her head. 
to do this horrible, horrible set. I think to show off her tattoos, including her like MS-13 spiderweb tattoo. Uh, she used to be normal looking, and then she shaved her head, and now it's like, it's uh, short hair. Um, I can actually show you this too. Assuming that doesn't crash my computer in the process. So long hair, bald, short hair. Now we return to modern day. He is trying to say that um, even though she has, even though, okay, even though she's busted and he tried to come up with the softest possible thing to describe on her as busted. So what he's literally saying is that her hair is ugly. He acknowledges that her hair is ugly. This is a fact. There's no getting around it. Uh, she's uh, she her hair is fucked up. So that's what she's literally saying. Now she both rec she recognizes this. She, she, even though he's not trying to say that, he's not literally trying to say that her hair is ugly. Uh, that is what he's actually saying, and she knows this. She knows that she's both. He's both implying her OnlyFans are embarrassing for him, and he's also literally saying that her hair is ugly, and she understands this. That's why she looks so pissed. Your hair could be down to the floor. Mm -hmm. Any hairstyle, mm -hmm. uh, as far as I know, I can, I'm can. i racking my brain through all the different like options of hairstyles, and I'm like, yeah, they're all fine. I don't care. Mm -hmm. uh, and that kind of opens you up for like a lot more options that you, know, you didn't necessarily consider. I also, I'm realizing that I'm caring less about body hair, mm. like uh, women with like armpit hair or... I think that's my fault. Arm hair. Like four years ago, I just stopped shaving as often. <laughs> and I think that, you just had to get used to no, it. No, that's not true. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That is an interesting conversation. I don't shave, she says. Idub says, but you do shave. So Idubs has confirmed he is not completely aware of how frequently um, his wife shaves, which implies that he does not see her naked often. And if he does see her naked, he has no memory of how often she is shaved. So this sort of implies that they have a dead bedroom re relationship going on. Because how the fuck would you not know this? But then Anisa decides uh, to get her vengeance. She is just recorded in her permanent book of grudges. The time that Idubs made fun of her hair and implied that her OnlyFans was embarrassing to him on, on their podcast. So she now has a stick of dynamite that she has to blow up to even equalize the moment. This is what she decides to say. You shave all the time. No, I only shave when I'm doing OnlyFans. No, I think you're... I only shave when I'm doing OnlyFans. I am married to a man, and generally speaking, uh, married women will try to appease their husband by looking attractive. Anita does not do this. She just said this on podcast. Now, Idubs might be too fucking retarded to understand what she's saying, but in the same way that Idubs saying that her hair was ugly was implied by, what he was, by his tangent, Anita is directly stating... Um, or implying through what she's saying that she doesn't care what he thinks about her or how she looks. And she only grooms for being a whore. And Idubs' enjoyment of her body hair is a secondary, actually not even a secondary concern. It's not even a concern of hers. Um, she is making fun of him to his face and he's too stupid to know this. Your perception of like what is shaven and what is not shaven is different. Okay. Cause you can get like a little stubble and you're like, oh, I'm fucking, I'm Sasquatch or whatever. <laughs> what? That's not true. No. To but... the untrained eye, I'm like, yeah, it's fucking, that's a naked leg. No, I won't shave for like three weeks on my armpits sometimes. So she's like really, she's like a little bit shocked. Like I'm making fun of you to your face and you don't seem to understand. And you don't seem to like remember the times that I've gone weeks, like an entire month without shaving my body hair. Like, do you not get this? Sometimes I look down, I'm like, Whoa. Yeah, the armpits, I don't even fucking care about, though. I know. Like, why does anyone care about that? It's They're just the fucking under your arm. No, like, I know, Unless I agree. someone's, like, sexually attracted to armpits, I don't get the... Which, by the way, I uploaded a picture of me yesterday where my arm was up, and someone did in the comments say, Yes, armpit! So she really wants... Someone said that he does know, no. And now she's making it very clear that this is what's happening. She's really trying to hammer it home, the humiliation. Now, wait, blink, and you'll miss it. Pay close attention, chat. <laughs> the editor, I think, tried to remove that, what was happening there, but I saved it. Idubs does an honest-to-God, pog-champ reaction, soy face, 
to the under the revelation that the men masturbating to his wife, uh, who pay her a pittance for the privilege of doing so, uh, are masturbating to her armpits. And his reaction to this is not to immediately take his chair and break it over her fucking head. It's instead to pog face like he's waiting for a cock to enter his mouth. Uh, and this was so, so fast. You might've missed it, but for a couple of frames, it was there. Oh, they, they do exist. I love that. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so. Okay. So uh, body hair. What so, about like height? Like maybe you're a guy who yeah. doesn't mind tall women. Yes. You could beg. I'm also in that thing. category. I don't yeah. care how tall you are. Okay. So this, you're about to enter the actual most embarrassing part of this video. You might have thought everything that I've talked about is embarrassing. There is a man behind the camera. He's a producer. I don't know who the fuck he is. He's one of the dumbest fucks in the world. The exchange you're about to hear is so perpetually, like, unbelievably retarded that it, it, it will stagger you. Yeah. I mean, although I haven't been with anyone who's taller than me. Mm, it's very hard to be taller than you as a woman. Yeah. It's very hard to be taller than you as a woman. There are two ways to interpret this. Um, but through context, it's immediately obvious to anyone with a familiar passing familiarity with the English language, what she's saying. You can infer from this conversation, I dubs is tall. Men are taller than women. And therefore, uh, it would be difficult to find a woman in the population who's going to be taller than I dubs. That is very obviously what she's saying. I don't even have to explain this. The only other way to interpret this is retarded. And that is, it's difficult to be taller than I doves. If you're a woman who's taller than I doves, it, it, as in general, everything is difficult. That's the dumb way to interpret that. And unless you're just not paying attention or are a retard, you would not infer that that is what she is saying with, with her statement. Fortunately for us, there is a retard in the room. But I don't know. Seems interesting. Yeah. Wait, um, I have a question. Why is it hard for a woman to be taller than a man? What for him? Well, because he's no, no, no. Dude. What you just said, you said it's very hard for a woman to be taller than the man. No, I said taller than you, him specifically. Huh? Oh, it's very, very rare. It's hard for a woman to be taller than him. <laughs> it would be difficult to find a woman. Oh, It'd rare, rare, rare. Oh, well, uh, when you say hard, uh, 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 I thought it was like. Difficult. It was more poetic language. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thing, Sorry, though, I, I just misinterpreted what you said. It's it's difficult to find a woman out there that yeah, is yeah. to find taller than Got you. It. Look at this gross faggot ginger. First of all, okay. Actually, take that back. That's going to be our second point of contention. Look at that mixing board. This shit ass podcast in this ugly ass dilapidated room in the middle of L.A. does not fucking need a soundboard that cool looking. You don't need it. You're not interviewing like eight different guests. You have two mic lines, three if you count his. It's unnecessary. This podcast is going nowhere. Keep your fucking garbage. Uh, point two, look at this nasty ass ginger. This guy is 100% going to troon out. There is no way in hell that this guy is going to keep his dick for the rest of his life. This is a failed ginger male to be 100% accurate here. This is Anisa's face when confronted with his overwhelming stupidity. Now, Anisa is not a particularly intelligent woman, um, but the guy speaking to her is so fucking stupid. You know those memes of, like, all the women sneering at the viewer in, like, a camera because they're like, ew, what are you doing here? This, this is literally that sneer. She is literally disgusted by this ginger retard asking her dumb fuck questions when she was trying to be dabbing on iDubs. And this 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 degenerate filth has spoken to her to demand her attention for the most obvious fucking thing that has ever happened. Uh, it's a really really sincere look of disgust. She fucking hates him. She thinks that he's a gigantic faggot, and it's really nice. 